just wanted to do a video here showing an update of what I'm working on. So this is the Tiny Whoop, which I've pretty much optimized as much as I can for long range. Made it as light as possible. And, uh, but I still get the three minute flight time. I mean, I could probably change the motors. I'm using the 17,000 uh, motors right now, but I can't really get a real long flight time and range. Uh, I can get a quarter mile range, you know, line, line of sight, but uh, no, I want to get a lot uh, better range and a lot better endurance. So I've been building uh, a different quad here. Now when you do long range, you want to have a GPS to get you back. So this is the Eagle Tree Vector. You're so close up here. I got Spectrum full range receiver. Just double stuck right on the top to it. I've lightened the weight, getting rid of all the connectors. That's something you don't have to do because it's a little tricky soldering. You can see right there. And uh, I've even removed the jacks and the plugs for the antennas and just soldered the antennas directly on. And uh, in this design, it's, these are 3D printed. They're available. It's uh, the pretty lightweight. And uh, I was able to look up thrust, test, thrust testing. And right here you're talking about three grams per watt of thrust. And here you can get about 14 grams per watt of thrust. And uh, so about seven times better efficiency going to the bigger prop diameter and having it gear reduced down. If this were brushless, it would be about half that efficiency. And brushless is around uh, seven grams per watt. So the best efficiency is brushed with gear, uh, battery. I've researched, this is a power tool battery. I'm gonna have specs. I'm actually gonna have a full build video, but this thing is taking months to build. I'll explain why in a minute. And, uh, but the best battery, you uh, get the best density for the weight and uh, it's just your lithium ion rather than lithium polymer. I was surprised how much, you know, this has a metal can. You would think this thing would be way heavier, but uh, at least what the engineering numbers show is uh, it's much lighter for its energy. So, so anyway, I have some uh, speed controllers I had to get from Australia from Micron Wings but they don't work with the frame rate and uh, so I can't even get this thing uh, these motors to run and you know, he confirmed these are just for your slow frame which is 50 times a second but this thing puts out 400 frames a second on the PWM and that little controller just gets confused and barely runs the motor and uh, this is a 5 volt regulator it boosts the 3.7 volt up to 5 because you need 5 volt on your controller and uh, so basically nobody makes a, a speed control that's real small these are 0.4 grams each they're just double stuck and uh, so I got to make it uh, myself and there's the layout right there it's gonna take a couple weeks get the board printed I've done a lot of this work before. I've worked in the hobby industry. And uh, uh, this, this board here is going to be a power control board, which will just go under the micro vector and it'll eliminate all these speed controls because the motors will be able to tie in direct, six motors, and it'll eliminate the regulator. That'll be built on the board. There'll be a 3.3 regulator to run the Runcam Al camera with a lighter weight regulator. It, and also, I found a very nice um, micro current. Uh, it'll read uh, the current from the battery. So the on screen display will show accurate current, and then you can get the milliamp hours when you have the current. And uh, so that's going to be a month, set me behind. 
and then uh, I'll be able to get into tuning this thing and then there's still going to be a lot more stuff on it. I'm probably going to have to do a vacuum form case and, uh, and on the bottom, you know, a similar thing. So a little bit on the construction here. YouTube is awesome tool to use. This glue is, is space slash aviation grade epoxy. It's like 30 bucks and it takes seven days to dry. The one day to, to set, but it's super strong. I could rip this, it'll actually rip the carbon fiber apart before the epoxy rips apart. And it'll actually just shred the carbon. And uh, so I get my GPS away from my noise. My video transmitter, I'm gonna do 400 milliwatt, I believe. Or no, 250, 250 milliwatt. And the video transfer will be right here in the air cooling stream. A real tiny little board. And just with a regular vertical, uh, linear polarized. And so that'll be uh, stay nice and cool. The, uh, the camera, that'll be mounting up on the front. I'm using the night vision, which will be really cool. This thing, oh, a couple things here. It's much quieter without the metal gear. And uh, I noticed that I was powering it up with the plastic gear. These things are nice. Uh, the uh, their ball bearing. There's actually ball bearings in there. These blades will get changed. There's a different uh, blade which is a better has a better uh, power of thrust. I just have these on temporary. So it is basically I think it's a Sigma. Uh, is what it comes from. And then these were 3D printed. They're slightly lighter. And um, is this half a millimeter carbon fiber. You can actually cut it with scissors. And then I used a little routing tool to route out so I can reach my wires because the wires run inside the carbon tubes and had to order the carbon tubes. I think they're three millimeter by three millimeter, but I'll, I'll have a complete parts list, you know, too. And uh, so the drone will be completely indestructible because I mean this stuff is really strong. You can't, I mean it's, it's um, you ain't gonna break it on a crash. You could either lose it or get it run over. And uh, so anyway I'm hoping to get an hour flight time on it. That's what the numbers are showing. That's why I'm doing six rather than four. It went, uh, it's a funny thing on the thrust char the thrust curves max throttle is less efficient than running like quarter throttle so this thing will be able to hover around quarter throttle and um, it's just the efficiency goes up the slower you turn the blades the higher the efficiency and it probably has to do with the not getting the turbulence of the previous you know turn that's why some people even say one blade and uh, and so you get more clean air but I guess when you move it's gonna have cleaner air as it's moving and probably the efficiency will go up and that'll be the cool thing about seeing the actual amp draw because I'll be able to I'll be able to compare the current and also the power from either hovering or forward flight and um, so it's not gonna be 3d this is just long range long endurance uh, quad and also light rate it should be 150 grams battery is uh, 40 grams so if some people want to do 100 gram I don't think 100 gram I initially I was trying to do 100 gram but I ended up that would have been a four blade but when I, as soon as I try to add GPS now this antenna weighs a ton it's solid ceramic. I'm seeing people use just a piece of wire and uh, or a dipole, which is a ground in a wire for the GPS. I don't think I need to do that. And uh, but anyway, it might be possible to do 100 gram. I don't think anybody's doing 150 gram. And in the U.S., it's 250 gram is where you get into the regulations. And uh, so I don't have that much incentive to go under 100 gram. And uh, if you did want to go, there's a nice, actually there's a nice uh, flight controller. 
Uh, when you look up endurance quadcopter and you see these things, he also has a 3D printed nice little battery holder and he just uses a little um, uh, built-in receiver slash flight controller slash speed control. And those and those are kind of nice because you can hook the batteries directly to the flight controller. Eagle Tree doesn't have that, you know. Hence, I'm making another board, and uh, which will be maybe two grams, and uh, the other board will uh, allow me to do that. So I'll keep y'all posted, and. Um, and like I said, I'll, I'll do a full build video on this too. If anybody wants to build, you know, basically a full, a full uh, feature drone, and uh, for endurance and lightweight. Hope you liked watching the video. Thanks for watching.